All right, guys, body recomposition on testosterone replacement therapy or TRT. I'm doing this video because this morning, you know, I sleep with my phone on aircraft mode. So this morning when I actually turned on my phone, um, I got a notification for a new YouTube video and it was called How to Train for Body Recomposition with TRT, Testosterone Replacement Therapy. And I couldn't believe that somebody actually made this video because they're making themselves look like morons, okay? They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. The fact of the matter is this, the way that you train for body recomposition on testosterone replacement therapy is the way you train for body recomposition without testosterone replacement therapy. The way you build muscle on testosterone replacement therapy is the same way that you build muscle without being on testosterone replacement therapy. People, TRT is not gear. It's not a performance enhancing drug. TRT means, you know, my case, okay? You know, I was sedentary until I was like 39. You know, I had my times when I worked out, but I got a long time and let myself really go. 39 years old, I started working out again. I started dieting again. I was learning, I was reading, I was training, I was developing my own diets, my own workouts. Right around 43, like right before my 43rd birthday, I realized that the same diets that worked for me to lose weight, to lose fat, weren't working anymore. The same diets I did and the same workouts I did to build muscle weren't building muscle and strength anymore. I was just, you know, and it wasn't that I hit some kind of a genetic limit where I was like negative zero body fat and couldn't get leaner or I was 500 pounds of pure muscle and couldn't build any more strength. I was well within my genetic limit, okay? I was not shredded. It was just the same stuff that used to work to lean me out or to get me stronger wasn't working anymore. So I went to the doctor and the doctor said, um, okay, now let's draw some blood. Normal range for testosterone, total testosterone for a man is 300 to 1100 uh, nanograms per deciliter. I was around 300. So I was at the absolute lowest end of what is considered normal for, you know, an, for a man. So I'm talking to the guy and he's like, all right, what we're going to do is we're going to try to double it. We're going to try to get you from like, you know, the 300 up to like the 7, 800, which is towards the upper end. Okay. And that's basically what we did. Okay. So when I train now, I train the exact same way that I would be training and I eat the exact same way that I would be eating if I wasn't on TRT. Think of it like this, you know, everybody knows like you're in grade school, you're in elementary school and you know, there are some kids that are just like monsters, you know, they're climbing the ropes in gym class and doing pull-ups and there are other kids that can barely do anything. Okay. Now, yes, you know, a lot of stuff has to do with that. You know, are these kids eating properly? You know, are they uh, sleeping properly, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Are they just eating junk food all day? But a lot of it just has to do with genetics and a lot of genetics means testosterone. If a kid happens to have more testosterone in his body, he happens to get better results, okay? So TRT basically takes you from wherever you are Okay, whether you're like very low end testosterone or under the low end of testosterone, you have like a major deficiency, it takes you to being that kid in, um, you know, in gym class when you're in like the fourth grade or the fifth grade who's climbing the ropes and who's doing the pull ups. Okay, it just gives you that edge to give you the optimal hormone level, but it is not a performance enhancing drug. It will not take you from, uh, you can develop your genetic limit 190 pounds lean it won't get you up to like 250 pounds lean. That is performance enhancing drugs, okay? That is AAS, you know, androgenic anabolic steroids. That is, you know, huge blasting, you know, performance enhancing levels of anabolic steroids, okay? That is what's gonna get you these incredible results. All TRT is supposed to do is, you know, you're getting old, you're kind of slowing down, things aren't working the way they used to work anymore. You jump on TRT and it makes you feel like a young man, okay? If I'm 46 years old, if I go to the gym with a kid who's like 26 years old, I can do the same workout, eat the same diet, and get pretty much the same results, okay? Now, I have noticed that my soft tissue, okay, my tendons, joints, ligaments are not recovering like they used to. And yes, I'm the first person to admit, if I could get on growth hormone, low doses just for like life extension or you know, hormone optimization, I would be the first person to jump on growth hormone, okay? Um, 
it's not like testosterone. You can't use it, you know, to optimize your hormones. You can't use it to, um, you know, to, to for anti-aging purposes. But aside from that, though, I feel the same way as I did when I was in my 20s. That's all that testosterone does. So, like I said, it's not a performance-enhancing drug. The way that you recompose your body, cut fat, build muscle, build strength, whatever, is exactly the same as if you were this, you know, 20-some-odd-year-old guy who had good genetics. That's all that it does. You know, a 20-something-year-old guy who has good genetics is not on PEDs. If he eats properly and works out, he gets results. And that's the same thing that I do at 46. That's all that TRT is. It's not a performance enhancing drug. It's the same thing as the question that I get all the time, you know, how, how long should I be working out before I jump on TRT? That's a good question if you're going to do a legitimate gear cycle, okay? Because what happens a lot of times is people don't know how to eat. They don't know how to work out. They don't have the discipline to eat. They don't have the discipline to work out. And before they buy a gym membership, they buy steroids. And guess what? You know, they don't go to the gym, they don't work out, they shoot them up with steroids, so they're jacking their health up, they're doing illegal shit, and they're not even getting results because they're not working out. It's stupid, okay? Work out first. But like I said, TRT is not gear. TRT is not a performance enhancing drug. So there's no reason for you to work out at all. I know lots of people on TRT, and I'm probably the only person on TRT I know who works out. Everybody else I know who's on TRT is just on TRT because they feel better, they have more energy, they have more mental focus, you know, sexual, everything is better, obviously. Um, you know, they, they just feel better in terms of like waking up in the morning, feeling refreshed, feeling recovered, their life is better, they feel younger, okay, when they're using TRT, and they don't even work out. So like I said, you know, TRT is not a performance enhancing drug. There is no difference between the way you should train, diet, work out, do anything on TRT as and there is off of it. And, you know, like I said, you don't even have to work out and you don't even have to diet to be on TRT. Your life is better when your levels of whatever are proper. Whether you have, you know, high blood pressure, get that under control. If you have high blood sugar, get that under control. If you have high cholesterol, get that under control. And yes, if you have low testosterone, Get that under control too, but it doesn't mean that just because you jump on TRT, you have to work out. It just because you jump on TRT, you have to train differently because now you're enhanced. You're not, okay? If you're on proper TRT, you're just normal. You're that normal 20-year-old kid who has good genetics and goes to the gym and gets results, and that's all, okay? The only difference is instead of 26, I'm 46. Anyway, I hope you guys get this. I hope you guys understand the difference between TRT and uh, PEDs because, like I said, a lot of questions, a lot of misinformation. You know, this is a big channel on hormone optimization where they had this thing. It's like, dude, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Um, anyway, like I said, if you guys are interested in learning how to recompose your body, if you're interested in learning how to cut fat, how to build muscle, whether you're on TRT or not, Suggest you go ahead and check out low carb cutting and bulking. It will get your body adapted to burning fat instead of carbs for fuel. It will teach you how to, you know, decide what your goal body weight should be, whether you should cut or bulk. If you have to cut, it will lead you through cutting, transition out of cutting into maintenance calories. If you're supposed to bulk, it will help you bulk without getting fat. The bottom line is it will take you from wherever you are to building, you know, five to 10 pounds of muscle in the first year. It will go ahead and have you getting down to 10% body fat and staying there, okay, which is about as lean as you can get. It's an entire system that will take you from where you are to where you want to be without any need for PEDs, okay? Low carb cutting and bulking, click on the link in the description below. Aside from that, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for understanding that TRT is not a PED. Um, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys in the next video.